I keep pushing boundaries. I like everything that is extreme. She is uh, always telling me that it's dangerous. I know that. I can die, maybe. I spend more than 40000 on my body. The Kardashians inspire me, especially Kim. My friends have said I don't need any more surgeries and that if I continue, it's going overboard. I'm kind of concerned for you. I just want it bigger and better. I don't see anything wrong with that. I love having big curves. Everything needs to be big. I keep pushing boundaries. I like everything that is extreme. I love surgeries and I will keep going to that. I'm Natasha and I'm growing my bum to be over 100 inches. When I was 17, 18, I saw a girl who had like a really big bum and I was sold. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have a bigger bum than her. <laughs> so the first procedure I did, I was 20 years old and it was a Brazilian butt lift. This. Since then, I've done four Brazilian butt lifts, one breast augmentation, some photos, some fillers, face treatments, regularly, you name it. <laughs> Everything. I've added about like 100 pounds to this big bum. I will do another Brazilian butt lift. Yeah, it's worth it every trouble and everything. I will not be happy until I reach my goal and that is having world's biggest bum. I've spent over $100,000 on my surgeries. I don't have any concerns about my health because I'm working out, I'm also eating healthy food. So I balance bad with good. I have 1.7 million followers on Instagram. My fans, they love the butt, but they love me also. Like my personality, they love everything about me. When I'm out, uh, people just stare, but that's it. But online, <laughs> there we have a different story. People can be mean, but the more haters you have, the bigger you are. That's my motto, you know? I don't take it personally. It doesn't affect me. <gasps> Hello, Hi. Natasha. Hi. Oh, oh my Gina. God. How nice is this? She is uh, always telling me that it's dangerous. I know that I can die maybe, but I can die even if I don't live my dream. Stop, please. Thank you. I can't stop her, so whatever makes her happy, of course. Natasha, is this enough of curls? Yeah, it's good. A little sexier. Yeah. Oh my God, this hair is so beautiful. You but... always look great. Thank you. Let's see what my fans think about it. In one minute, I have like 200 likes. So I'm happy, happy girl. Let's see what they write. Oh, you look so beautiful. You're handsome, gorgeous. Oh my God. Thank you. I love you guys. If I look like this, I need to love my body, right? Otherwise, I will never do these procedures. I love women who have big curves, big boobs, big big everything, big lip, you know? When people think about Natasha Crown, I want them to remember that she's a girl who did everything to achieve her goals. If I'm happy, you should be happy. I have so much trouble shopping for clothes because sometimes nothing really fits me. I really like to dress sexy, like, that's the only time I'm really comfortable in my clothes. I, I like to show the curves, so I love body suits, dresses. I was 21 when I got my first plastic surgery and I got a BBL. Before the surgery, my butt was 43 inches and now it's 53 inches. I done a BBL lipo all over my stomach, my back, and I put fat in my butt. I have around 2 million followers on Instagram. When I get attention, I feel good about myself because as much as I love my body, I'm hard on myself sometimes. That's why I keep doing surgery because I want to improve and be the best I can be. And when I was younger, I got bullied a lot. So I feel like 
now that I get all this attention, I feel like I can finally feel free and be liked for who I am. I'm gonna talk to my friends about the surgery I'm having. I am getting my boobs more perkier, like a lift and some implants. I have a surprise for you, well, it's more for me. But since I never touched these boobs ever, I think it's time for me to get a lift and maybe implants. Simon, I did tell you, like. Yeah, I think you definitely go smaller and lifted. I know they're a hassle for you and you want to wear certain things. Absolutely, yeah. Great. So I'm gonna tell my boyfriend Louis that I'm getting this done. Oh my god, babe, he's gonna be so f Yeah, I think so too. Hey. Hey, babe. What's up, babe? What are you gonna chat about? Um, nothing too crazy. Okay, what's crazy? Just a little nervous because I don't know what you're gonna say. What do you think about my breasts? Well, I can't say I don't like them. I do, so why? What you want to change about them? I want to get a boob job. I, I kind of want, like, you know, a little bit smaller because I want to kind of focus more on the trunk in the back. I just think, you know, the health issues that can come after it, you know. You just gotta be careful. You know, I support you in whatever you wanna do, so. Yeah? I'm here for you. You got me? I got you. That means you're gonna pay for it? Maybe. <laughs> One day I might stop getting plastic surgery, but for now, I'm gonna continue this journey. The Kardashians inspire me, especially Kim. I love vintage fashion, so I'm always collecting pieces. The Chanel wrap skirt I would wear to like the beach or on vacation. The Chanel sweater is vintage. I would wear it, you know, after the gym or when I'm feeling cozy. My style is very flashy, very luxe, very poppy. I'm very classy as well. I like to mix a little masculine with a little feminine. I think I want to wear skims today. My name's Corey Hall. I'm an entrepreneur and an influencer. I've spent $100,000 on my dream body. So I've had a BBL, Lipo 360. I've had butt injections, lip filler, cheekbone filler, and jawline filler, and of course, Botox. I got my first BBL last year, and I did it just because I wanted a bigger butt. I would like to get another BBL. People tell me I don't need another surgery, but I don't care. Yeah. That's super cute. It looks great. Yeah, Thank it you. looks good. Okay, friend. Anytime. It's perfect. I work out about six times a week and I have a routine. The workouts that I do to get a Kardashian booty is I squat a whole lot and I do leg day about three times a week. I'm going to meet my friends because I'm going to tell them that I'm going to get another BBL. My friends have said I don't need any more surgeries and that if I continue, it's going overboard. They don't want me to look crazy or like, you know, overdone. I'm thinking of getting another BBL surgery. Why do you want to get a BBL now? I just want like a bigger butt. I just want more dramatic results. I'm kind of concerned, Corey. I feel like I have to be that friend that kind of has to bring reality into it. I'm really concerned about your health and I'm kind of scared you're not going to like yourself afterwards. Ultimately, it's going to be up to Corey, you know? I feel like he should do it do if that's what he, he wants. Good I feel like Corey has already gotten his dream body. I think it's gotten to the point where he needs to stop. They just need to trust that I'm going to take the safest route and do what's best for me. I want a more dramatic body and I don't see anything wrong with that. It's really up to you at the end of the day, you know? Yeah. I think you look perfect, Corey. I honestly do. And I love you for who you are. Get in. <laughs> I'm close to the look that I'm ultimately going for. 
So I do feel like I will stop with surgeries, but you never know what the future may hold. I know who I am, so I don't really care what people have to say about me. I love fashion, I love looking hot, and I love my body.